Hi guys, this is Javier from the College Corner. I have some very important news to share with you guys this advisory. So I want to let you know about the scholarship push that we have right now. So uh, for the next two weeks are very critical and uh, the next week being one in particular to our school. So we have the RCC Foundation Scholarship that's due the 25th of February. And also, we're going to be doing the RCC placement test on the 27th of February. Keep those dates in mind if that's something that you're looking to do. Also, the local scholarship packet, and this is huge, the local scholarship packet for our school is due March 31st. In addition to that date, we also have the OSAC scholarship that's also due March 31st. And the OSAC, if you don't know already, is a 400 scholarships that you can apply up to two or 20 scholarships. So make sure that you keep those dates in mind. RCC Scholarship Foundation, the 25th, and RCC Placement Test, the 27th. March 1st is the local scholarship packet due here for our Phoenix High School, as well as OSAC for the Oregon State Access Commission Scholarship due March 1st. I also wanna let you know about FAFSA. If you haven't done FAFSA already, you need to do so now, pronto. Uh, FAFSA is, stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Basically, that means that the government will give you, the student, free money to help you if you qualify for uh, college funds. So again, that's the FAFSA that opened up January, so don't hesitate because there's only so much allotted for people. So get in there and take care of that. If you need help, that's why myself, Javier, and Courtney in the College Corner are available to help you. Every day this week and next week, we will be here after school devoting several hours to help you guys get squared away with those things. I also want to let you know about the PHS website. So our Phoenix website, I have a tab on there from the College Corner that I put a lot of scholarships and information for juniors and seniors that are very important for you guys to keep up um, and check out. So there's a lot of information and the resources are everywhere, but it's your responsibility to check in and get those things done. And in just a moment, you will be seeing a video of a tutorial to how to get to the PHS website where I've written down and I've put in all the information on the College and Career tab on the website. There are four keys to the scholarship success. The first key is academics. The second key is community service, volunteer work, and extracurricular activities. The third key is letters of recommendation. And your fourth and final key is their scholarship essay. Now the first key, the academics, I want to let you know that GPA is very important. However, bad grades or low grades do not rule out a scholarship. The number two is community service, volunteer work, and extracurricular activities. Scholarship committees, they love to see these kind of things on the essays and on the applications. So for instance, your community service, doing volunteer work in the community is awesome. Uh, you know, certain examples of that would be doing uh, work for the Red Cross, such as the Blood Drive, um, working with a church, uh, doing the Boys and Girls Club um, service is awesome. Another thing is uh, leadership and mentoring. Uh, any leadership and mentoring program, such as leadership classes or uh, STARS program, anything that you've been involved in where you've taken the leadership role is very good to have on a scholarship application. Uh, your extracurricular activities are, are also great to have on there. So if you've been involved at school with certain clubs like Honor Society, um, in sports, cheerleading, cross country, any sport is an extracurricular activity. It's great to have on there. But the important thing to remember is that um, having just a couple hours of community service per week is not enough to count. So um, what makes a big difference on applications if, if you've put in a lot of volunteer time. So um, you can have a better chance of a successful scholarship winning essay. Uh, number three, letters of recommendation. You should be thinking ahead about who you're going to ask to be your recommender. Um, this is very important because many scholarships ask for one or two letters of references. Um, and these can be from any teachers, employers, uh, your mentors, counselors, uh, those kind of uh, people they're looking to hear back from because they're going to give a good indication of who you are. Number four 
is the scholarship essay writing. Uh, and the essay is probably the most important part of the scholarship application because this paints a picture to them of who you are. There are definitely several parts to have a good foundation of a scholarship application. Again, number one, academics. Number two, the community service, uh, volunteer work and extracurricular activities. Um, and number three, those recommendation letters. But somehow all of that uh, needs to be implemented in your scholarship essay. Um, I have at my office here at the College Corner some incredible essay examples. I also um, talk about the elements of what an, a winning scholarship essay should have. So if you have any questions regarding that essay, that's exactly what I'll be here for after school helping you guys out to have a solid, grounded, foundational scholarship essay. That way when the scholarships committee see this, they'll see how you stand out and why they would want to give their money and investment into you. So please come in and see me so I can give you help and assist you in the proper things to have in that essay. Uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, we have an incredible staff here with Courtney and myself in the college corner doing the best we can to help you guys out. But again, it's only good if you come in and ask for help. We do our best to come and find you guys, uh, pull you out of class and get the information out, either all calls or we send in uh, information to be set on PHTV. These kind of things are very good when we uh, want to tell you guys about these opportunities, but the main thing that you have to realize is that you have to come and be responsible to getting those things done. So again, we're here to help you, we're here for you, but we need you guys to come in and ask for help, ask questions, those kind of things so we can see where we can help you. And don't be afraid to ask. Um, you know, there's no question that we can't help you out with and we're there for that. So again, to wrap things up, we have the PHS website that houses scholarships. We have OSAC, which houses uh, over 400 scholarships that you can apply up to 20. Again, we have the RCC Foundation Scholarship due the 25th. The RCC Placement Test coming the 27th. And March 1st being a huge day uh, for Phoenix High School as the local scholarship apps have to be turned in March 1st. Now, if there are anything missing in the application, uh, unfortunately, uh, you will be disqualified from that. So make sure that you have all those things turned in in order to receive uh, an award. That's all I have for now. I really appreciate your time. Please don't hesitate to come into the College Corner and ask for questions. Thank you very much. Go to the Phoenix Talent School District website. Click on Schools on the left-hand side of the webpage. Click on Phoenix High School. Click on college slash career on the left side of the webpage. From here, you can find all of the scholarship information.